To ensure good measurements are taken, the Fluke 805 has a wide angle tip and sensor sensitivity to provide a wide range of frequencies covering most machine types. It has a force sensor that ensures angle and pressure has minimal impact on the results, and it has a green light that indicates the right amount of pressure has been applied. Taking a measurement is easy, simple, and fast. Hold the meter on the test surface as close to the bearing as possible. Press the measure button. Then press the sensor tip into the solid metal until the green LED turns on and keep pressing until the light turns off. If you don't apply enough pressure or release too soon, the red LED turns on to indicate that the test failed. Try again. A few seconds after the LED turns off, the test results are displayed on the screen. You'll see three measurements. At the top will be the crest factor plus, in the middle overall vibration, and at the bottom the temperature. You'll also see two severity scores. The severity score for bearing measurement, which is on the top. You'll notice that the severity score for overall vibration is blank until we enter the machine ID for the one of the 37 machine categories. We don't have anything to compare it to, so this will be blank. Collect data from the motor and pump bearings. If the motor pump are small, collect data from one bearing on the motor, one on the pump. If the motor pump is large, greater than 30 inches between bearings, then collect data from all four. Next, let's save the measurement for storage and trending. Select the option number one, save to existing setup. Then in number two, select by name and press enter. And then number three, select your machine and bearing locations. Press enter and then press save. After we've saved it, the display over here on the right, which shows the severity score for overall vibration, notice now that it's updated. That's because we now have a machine category and overall vibration levels to compare the overall vibration to. To see the readings taken in the past, press the memory button, see number one and two above. You can also edit the setups, that's number three.